let's look at this set with seven friends abhishek ashish somil avinash lokpriya inisha and mohit decided to study together on a day starting from morning until evening at a park on a particular day their plan failed as no one was able to come on time and all left the park before 12 noon they arrived at 7:30 9 am 8:20 8 am 9:50 8:15 8 and 7:45 am respectively but they all left on some different time at 10 10:30 10:15 10 11 am 11:05 11:05 11 and 11:20 not necessarily in the same order so one important thing you need to note here is names of the friends and the time at which they arrived this information is given respectively the time at which they left is not given respectively but the time at which they arrived is given respectively so table wise information that you can capture already first is name then arrival time and then departure time okay So let's go ahead and make lines, eight columns, eight spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We have friends. Abhishek, Ashish, Somil, Avinash, Lokpriya. Oh, there are seven friends. No, I made eight locations. Okay, in Shia and Mohit. Okay. And the time set which they arrived was seven forty nine eight twenty eight nine fifty eight fifteen and seven forty five. Okay, <clears throat> this information is already available. Now the departure timing is something we have to take care of. Next. Further, it is known that everyone studied for more than an hour. So the time for which everyone spent there was sixty plus, more than sixty, always. Okay, Mohit spent the maximum time, and Lokpriya spent the least time at the park. So I know this is max duration. This is min duration. Okay, Ashish was not the first person to leave the park, and the difference between the time spent by Ashish and Inisha in the park was forty minutes. Now this is interesting. See, Ashish was not the first person to leave the park. Okay, so Ashish did not leave it. See, departure times available are ten, ten thirty, ten fifty, eleven, eleven o five, eleven o five, and. Eleven twenty. These are the seven departure times. Ashish was not the first person to leave the park, and the difference between the times spent by Ashish and Inisha in the park was forty minutes. Now see, Ashish came to park at. Uh, Ashish came to the park at nine. Inisha came to the park at eight fifteen. Right now, in uh, only in the difference of their arrival time, there is a gap of forty five minutes, but. After fitting in whatever time they are departing at, the difference in time spent. In fact, I should also ideally add one extra column of duration. Duration. <clears throat> so after Ashish comes in, and uh, after Ashish comes in, and Inisha comes in, the gap between them. The, Inisha has been there in the park for forty-five minutes more than Ashish. But after departure of Ashish and Inisha, the gap between them is forty, which means after Inisha's departure, Ashish should be there for five more minutes. You want to reduce the gap of forty-five to forty. So after Inisha's departure, 
Ashish should be there for five more minutes. Now, within the available times, let's see if there are two times that we can see that differ by five minutes. Clearly, the only option that works is 11 and 11.05. So, Inisha should leave at 11. And Ashish should leave at 11.05. Now, duration-wise, Ashish should have spent 125 minutes. And Inisha would have spent 165 minutes. And thereby, the difference in the time, difference in the time that they have spent in the park is going to differ by 40. So this line is entirely taken care of. This line is entirely taken care of. Additionally, this min and max that I had recorded for Lokpriya and Mohit, I can go ahead and record that here because duration is directly being addressed here. Okay. Next is the difference between the time spent by Somil and Abhishek. The difference between the time spent by Somil and Abhishek in the park was 20 minutes. Abhishek entered at 7.30 and Somil entered at uh, 8.20. Okay. These two times are used up. 7.30 and 8.20. The difference in the, their arrival times is of 50 minutes. The difference in the arrival times is of 50 minutes. Yet, the difference in the time spent by Somil and Abhishek in the park was 20 minutes has been told to us. If the difference in the time spent, it means after Abhishek's departure, Somil has to stay there for half an hour more. So now, now we are looking for two timings. We are looking for two times which differ by half an hour. We are looking for two times which differ by half an hour. Okay. We will get two possibilities. Either he leaves at 10 and then he leaves at 10.30. You could have a possibility that he leaves at 10 and this fellow leaves at 10.30. This can happen. In which case, the time he spends here is 90 minutes. And the time he spends here is 110 minutes. No? Sorry, not 90 minutes, 150 minutes. 7.30 to 10, 2 hours and 30 minutes, so 150 minutes. Here it will be 2 hours and 10 minutes, so 130 minutes. This possibility exists, 10 and 10.30, because this differs by half an hour. The other possibility is 10.50 and 11.20. So let me also make the allowance for that. He leaves at 10.50 and this fellow leaves at uh, who what? what time? 11.20. In which case in which case Somil will stay Somil, in which case Somil will stay in the park for 3 hours which is 180. This fellow will stay in the park for 200. So these are the two possibilities that can be generated. These are the two possibilities that can be generated. Okay. Now, the fun thing is, look at this. For this, I'm checking for this 1050 case and 1120 case. For this 1050 case or 1120 case. We know everybody has spent more than one hour in the park. Which would mean... The only time Lokpriya cannot leave at 10, Lokpriya cannot leave at 10.30, Lokpriya cannot leave at 10.50 because that is allocated to Abhishek, Lokpriya cannot leave at 11.20 because that is allocated to Inisha. So the only time Lokpriya can leave at is 11.05. The only time Lokpriya can leave at is 11.05. Okay. So Lokpriya at 11.05. How long has she been there? 9.50 to 11.05. So what are 15 minutes? 75 minutes. This can work. And then, and then 11.05 is gone. 10.50 is gone. 10.20 is gone. 10 or 10.30. Between the two of them, 10 or 10.30 needs to be allocated. So if I alloc even if I allocate 10.30 here, hopefully you see in this case, even if I allocate 10.30 departure time to Mohit, even if I allocate 10.30 departure time to Mohit, can you see the time that he spends, the time that he spends in the park is going to be 
टू आवर्स फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स विच इज वन सिक्सटी फाइव मिनट्स इट इज गोइंग टू बी टू आवर्स फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स विच इज वन सिक्सटी फाइव मिनट्स which is already lower than the time spent by somil which is already lower than the time spent by abhishek but we know from point 2 mohit spent the maximum time and lokpriya spent the least time in the park which means in this case where abhishek leaves at 10:50 and somil leaves at 11:20 will not possibly work because in this case even when i am giving the largest possible available time to mohit even when i am giving the largest possible available time to mohit he cannot possibly he cannot possibly mm, have the maximum duration for which he is in the park let's say even if we were to flip it around instead of giving 1105 to lokpriya i give 1105 to mohit which will make it 3 hours 20 minutes which will make it 3 hours 20 minutes even if it turns into 3 hours 20 minutes it will only match abhi's time it will match abhi's time Additionally, it will render all possibilities of exit times for Lokpriya moot because Lokpriya cannot exit at ten. Lokpriya cannot exit at ten thirty. Lokpriya cannot exit at ten fifty. Cannot exit at eleven o five. Cannot exit at eleven twenty. Everything is gone. All timings that could potentially be used are used. They that cannot possibly happen, and therefore, <clears throat> the only therefore this helps us eliminate it down. That the times at which Abhishek and Ashish are departing are necessarily ten and ten thirty only. These aren't really possibilities. These are certainties. Ten and ten thirty. This is used up, and this is used up. Okay, one thirty, one fifty. This is done. Now for Lok Priya. Now again, there are three people whose duration is not known: Avinash, Lok Priya, and Mohit. Now Lok Priya cannot be departing at ten fifty, but Lok Priya can possibly be departing at eleven o five or at eleven twenty. If she departs at eleven o five, or she departs at eleven twenty, these are the two possibilities. in which the time spent by her in which the time spent by her in the park is going to be either 75 minutes or 90 minutes is going to be 75 minutes or 90 minutes okay now mohit mohit if lokpriya is spending 1105 here if lokpriya is uh, departing at 1105 Mohit has two possibilities: either he stays in the park till ten fifty, or he stays in the park till eleven twenty. Ten fifty or eleven twenty. Okay. So if Mohit stays in the park till ten fifty, every thing seems hunky dory. Now right now he is in the park for three hours five minutes, which makes it one ninety five. Which makes it one ninety five. But the problem is, if ten fifty is allocated to Mohit, eleven twenty will go to Avinash. If eleven twenty goes to Avinash, then Avinash is in the park for two hundred minutes, which is not possible because Mohit had to spend the maximum amount of time in the park. So this allocation of ten fifty here and eleven twenty here is not fair. We have to give eleven twenty here and ten fifty here. Eight to ten fifty, two hours fifty minutes. So one seventy minutes here, and thirty-five, fifteen and twenty, thirty-three hours thirty-five minutes. So two hundred fifteen minutes here. Yes, we have got a possible case with Lokpriya departing at eleven o five. Avinash will leave at ten fifty, and Mohit will leave at eleven twenty, and our work will happen. Okay. Now the other case. Let's say Lokpriya leaves at eleven twenty. Let's say Lokpriya leaves at eleven twenty. Now between these two times, between these two times, we have to allocate times to Avinash and Mohit. Again, if Avin Mohit leaves at ten fifty, if Mohit leaves at ten fifty and Avinash leaves at eleven o five, hopefully you can see seven forty five to ten fifty. It is three hours five minutes, and eight to eleven o five. It is three hours five minutes. 
which would mean Avinash and Mohit have spent equal amount of time in the park. But we were told uh, Mohit spent the maximum time, a the maximum time means a unique maximum time, which means he will leave in this case at 11.05 and he will most certainly leave at 10.50, which means in either case, whether Lokpriya is leaving at 11.05 or 11.20, Avinash is definitely leaving at 10.50. There are no two possibilities here. But Mohit's time can change. In this case, 15 minutes less, he will spend 200 minutes in the park. The only people for which we are unsure about the departure times are Lokpriya and Mohit. And also the durations we are unsure about. It changes possibly by 15. But for everyone else, we know the precise arrival and the precise departure time. Let's look at the individual questions. <clears throat> if Lokpriya was not the last person to leave the park, which translates to we are looking at the left-hand side case, then who could be the two persons leaving together at 11.05 a.m.? The two people leaving at 11.05 will be Lokpriya and Ashish. In fact, hopefully you can see, you could have arrived at this Lokpriya and Ashish bit very, very quickly, just from point number three. Because from point number three, we had already ascertained that Ashish is leaving at 11.05. So Ashish is definitely a part of the answer. The fact that these three options don't even have Ashish should point to the fact that this has to be the answer. Okay. Next, Avinash spent two hours, 50 minutes in the park, which is true in either case. He's spending two hours, 50 minutes in the park. Then at what time did Somil left? Somil left at 10.30. And that is independent of uh, what time, as in what, how much time Avina spent, both to fix information with you. Okay. Mohit has spent less than 3.5 hours. If Mohit has spent less than 3.5 hours, it means Mohit has spent less than 210 minutes. So we are talking on the right hand side case. Then at what time did Lokpriya leave? Right hand side case, Lokpriya left at 11.20. So option C. Last. What is the difference between the time spent by Mohit and the time spent by Inshia? Inshia's time that she spent in the park is known, 165, but Mohit's time is not known. And therefore, the difference could either be 50 or the difference can be 35. Given that we cannot reach a unique definite answer, the final thing that we mark here has to be option D. And that should be all for this set. Let me just confirm. Yeah. Thank you.